My name is Monty. I was injured while racing motocross and I have a C4 injury. I can breathe quite well, but I don't have use of my hands. When I moved into this condo, I completely renovated it, made it accessible for myself and my background as a contractor came in pretty handy for that. And the desk I designed just out of my own, my own ideas, it's uh, made very strong and it's a custom height so that I can get under it. It's exact height for, for typing um, so that it's comfortable w w with a mouse stick. Dialing the phone using the mouse, uh, using the mouse and uh, looking at the screen, it's all the perfect height. And it's made strong out of laminated two by fours. I had a carpenter that was a very good friend of mine build it for me and he did an awesome job and it worked so perfect. I was fortunate enough to be a, f a finishing carpenter in my last life. So I came up with this idea and it works pretty good. If you'll notice, I can have a popcorn bowl there. I can go up to it whenever I want to and have a snack or a drink water, just like this. And I drink a lot of water too, so this comes in pretty handy. You can see I got my all my remotes velcroed to the wall here. Uh, the top one's for my air conditioner, the bottom one's for the TV, and the bottom two are for the stereo. So I can virtually do anything I want here uh, with a mouse stick, and it works well. And anybody can do this in their own home. Okay, you're probably looking at this thing and wondering what this is. It looks like some sort of torture device, maybe. But what it is, is um, being a quadriplegic, you know, we can't use our hands. And sometimes we're hungry and we want a snack. So I came up with this idea. It's got these prongs that stick out, as you can see, with a weight on the back so it's sturdy and doesn't move. And whenever I want, I can just go up to it with my chair, just like this. And have a snack. And if you see on this box right here, I've got all these toggle switches. This switch right here opens my front door. And I can close it. The same switch. What I did was, that's on a remote system. So I just got a fellow that uh, was good with electronics. And with a little ingenuity, he wired it to a toggle switch for me. And I have the same switch on the other side here that opens my van door. And I prefer to use a chin control for my chair. I know a lot of people elect to use the head control, but I find with the chin control I have way more maneuverability. I can move in and out of tight spaces a lot faster than I could with a head control. It just, it makes sense because your field of vision is where you're looking and you're moving forward, so you're pushing forward. It just makes more sense to me. Maybe that comes from racing motocross, I'm not sure. <laughs> so here we are in my bedroom. And as you can see, I have my iPhone on this apparatus that I made from some pieces. They were just from Ikea, actually. It was a light that I cut up and cut the base off, drilled a hole in the headboard, and wrapped some Velcro around it, and the phone sticks to it just like that. So being a quadriplegic, once I'm in bed, I can't really get out of bed. So if an emergency ever arose, I would need to contact somebody. So having Siri with voice recognition aids me to do that. Have you ever had to use it? No. <laughs> I've never needed to use it. <laughs> and it's all part of, uh, I have a website called Barrier Free Solutions where I help other people do stuff like this. And I help them with their homes and figuring out how to do their bathrooms and to make their homes accessible.